Hey, it's Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for the Scrap Room to share with you this layout that I created using the My Mind's Eye Happy Days collection, which is in the March kits. So I created a cut file. Well, I didn't create it. I used a cut file uh, from the Silhouette store, and I'm going to back that with this sort of peachy pink color um, with the stripes that you see there. Um, and I'm going to back that with the peachy pink. And then I am going to um, use the white negatives from that cut file, as well as I used the blue cardstock that comes in the kit. And I'm going to layer those leaves up and overlap them within the negative that I've backed in the pink there. And that is going to afford me the ability to layer multiple colors that coordinate with the collection in that heart-shaped uh, cut file there. I'm also going to back, um, actually I'm going to put a header and a footer on this layout using two stripes there of those polka dots from that pattern paper there. I just like the way that that grounds the layout um, and I tend to, when I use white backgrounds, which I do a lot of, like to have either a header or a footer or a right side and a left side. I just fi find that it grounds the layout for me um, and that's just something in particular that I tend to do a lot. Of. This picture is of my sister and I. We were in Baltimore on a girls weekend um, and while you can't see we were actually sitting in a heart shape uh, which is why I went with this particular digital cut file there. So what I've done, you can see there, I've got some of the white cut files. I've got some of the white files that I have painted um, green and some of them that I've painted uh, more of a salmon-y color. So a darker shade of that peachy pink that um, is backing the, the file there. And then I'm just going to, I fussy cut um, those, you can see those three flowers. Uh, it's off of the pattern paper that is sort of rows of flowers. And so rather than, I, cut the stem off and just cut out the the leaves which gives you um, a slightly different look of those particular flowers in the pattern paper there. And so what I'm doing is I'm layering up the blue from the cardstock that comes with the kit as well as um, some of the ones that I've colored myself. I just like the way that it adds more color to that heart shape um, and gives you the illusion of the heart shape that my sister and I are sitting in. I also used another uh, floral cut file and used one of the peachy pink papers so that I have um, some extra flowers and then I'm also going to use the flowers from the embellishment add-on as well as the embellishments that come in the kit there. It's hard to see those flowers, those peachy pink flowers, so I am going to um, off camera use a black pen and outline them and you can see that they um, stand out much more. I had those houses that I thought I would kind of create like a city scene because we were in uh, the inner harbor of Baltimore, but um, it didn't work. It kind of just felt like the heart was floating that way. So I'm going to use this chipboard that says, oh my, and put a flower that's growing out of it. Um, and. I'm going to take this other chipboard that says yeah and that is going to be my title um, and I'm going to use some letter stickers which I will also do off camera and it'll say yeah girls weekend with some journaling underneath and that is going to uh, complete the title as well as the inner part of that heart for my layout there. Um, originally I had the yeah right where you see it there um, but I'm going to move it more to the inner part of that heart it just feels like um, where it is currently, things are pretty crowded, so that's why I shift that in words. I am also going to off camera use um, the chicken <laughs> uh, sticker that comes in the embellishment pack and I'm going to use that for embellishment. Um, the chicken has nothing to do with us being in Baltimore um, or the theme of the layout but I thought he was pretty cute and um, I wanted to incorporate him into the layout as well again just for some visual interest to this. So typically when I do my layouts, I like to have trios of things. Uh, and so I have the trios of clusters of flowers that go around the heart. And then there are actually going to be three um, banners, two or bigger, 
uh, sorry, two or smaller, and then you have that Oh Yeah banner that I have there. Um, and that is another trio that kind of moves your eye through the movement from the top of the heart uh, to the photo down to that Oh My. And then also the uh, trio of the flowers is also going to move your eye around the page through the title, the photo, and the journaling as well. Um, and that is how I have chosen to use design elements and incorporated them into this particular layout. Um, I could have created the layout without the header and the footer at the bottom of the page, um, but I really do feel that that blue line at the top and the bottom grounds the page um, and doesn't have this just random kind of floating heart that's in there, um, and that's why I went with that. So I first placed everything around the heart, and now I'm just using strips of glue to adhere that down. This is liquid glue. Um, not all of the floral pieces are fully adhered. Um, most of the adhesive I've got down the center of those florals so that um, actually it's kind of a cool effect with the watercolor that I did over the white leaves. Um, it kind of curls the paper a little bit and so that adds some dimension which I like with that chipboard in the layout there. So that, my friends, is my March layout for the scrap room using my mind's eye Happy Days collection. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. If you subscribe and you are a new subscriber and you put my name, Susanna Lee, um, and YouTube in the comments, Rochelle will be sure to include some free goodies for you. And we look forward to having you joining us at the scrap room. There are some challenges over on the Facebook group, so be sure to join that group as well. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Enjoy the close-ups. Take care.